This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, here's the real main event. Michael Cole beat Jerry Lawler by DQ uh, with Steve Austin as the referee in 13 minutes and 45 seconds. They bring out Booker T and yourself to do the announcing. Cole's wearing a wrestling singlet and wrestling headgear, all orange. Syracuse. He's not trying to get the uh, the Taz heat, but it is the uh, the orange men of Syracuse. All right. Um, Cole says that Jim Ross has the second biggest ego in all of sports entertainment. He then says Lawler has the biggest, which makes sense because they're both overrated, overweight, and over the hill. Swagger comes out. Austin tries to run him over with his Jeep when he comes out. They do what they can with a match. Um, Lawler is stomping Cole in the corner. Swagger throws in the towel. Austin ignores it, and Booker T explains it's sports entertainment, not boxing. It's acting. I don't know if we maybe would have said that. He gets one star. But I mean, it all ends well. Um, well, it's too long. Yeah. Way too long. Way 13, too long. That, that killed, yeah, that killed it. It was too long. And you're telling me that a hall of fame guy like Lawler can't beat an announcer with his finish. And that's what they should have done. Overthought overanalyzed. But Vince had made this big investment in turning Michael Cole heel. The voice of reason, the lead play by play guy that we need to trust, we need to believe in, was turned heel because Vince, again, in his quest, his obsession to reinvent things that did not need reinvention. But at 13 minutes, way too long. Uh, Lawler can't, and, and the DQ finish was uh, weaker at a plate full of piss. Uh, just, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't, under, well, it told me where Vince's head was as far as Cole was concerned. And therefore I knew that when I got the call on Monday morning to come back to raw, I knew why they got to get something back on Cole, uh, to, you know, get him made whole again after the DQ finish, the DQ finish took away everything in my view that uh, they had built. Both guys worked hard on this thing and it took away everything that they had built. I felt like, because it should have just been a nice match, a, a spot where it looks like Cole's going to screw Lawler. Uh, Austin intervenes, comes back one-on-one -on -one. Lawler then takes care of business. That's how, that's how simple it could have been. And it all could have been done in five or six minutes. But JR, you don't understand. They needed Cole to be, to look strong. Don't you yeah. think? All right. He did. He did. Well, strong. So anyhow, it's just, it's crazy. There's a fun beer bash afterwards. We send everybody home happy. We got yep. the spinner and all that jazz. And that's the irony cool. of that was Lawler's very cognizant. You go back and look at the tape to not drink any beer Yep. or have beer ingested like an inadvertent spill or something because Lawler's never had a drink of alcohol in his life. Right. He loves the saying lips that touch alcohol will never touch mine. He's probably made an exception over the years. I would say that's true. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.